When it comes to online website building platforms, there are a ton of options to choose from. And it can be super difficult to figure out which of these options is right for you. Two of the largest platforms that you can choose from are Squarespace and WordPress. And when it comes to these platforms, they're both incredibly good at what they do, which is building websites. The question is, which of these two website builders is better and which one of these should you be using when it comes to building your websites? In this video, I'm gonna be pitting both of these website builders against each other, breaking things down from their features, their price, ease of use, and overall performance. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear and concise idea of which of these two website builders is right for you and your journey. But without further ado, let's talk about these builders. One of the first website builders we'll be talking about in today's video is Squarespace. Now, you've probably heard of Squarespace on the internet, and you're probably very familiar with other website builders out there. This is one of the most popular website builders on the market right now. Because of this, there's tons of people that use it, and there's tons of features that it has at its disposal. We're going to cover all those features, but before we do that, let's talk about how to get started with Squarespace for 10% off. One of the first things you're going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below for Squarespace, and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, all you simply have to do is hit the get started button, and then you can enter in a couple of pieces of information about the business or website that you're trying to build. For this instance, I'm going to just say that we're trying to build a technology website, and for the site description, I'm just going to say it's a tech site. I'm then going to hit the next button, which is then going to ask us what some of of our goals are with this website or business. I'm basically going to just say that I want to sell online courses and hit the next button. Once I've done that, I can then either choose to have Squarespace's own AI software build the website completely from scratch for me or pick an already existing template. If you guys actually want to utilize this software in your own website building journey, make sure to check out one of our other videos that we have where we do a full breakdown on how to actually utilize Squarespace's AI technology and how to build your own website with it. For the sake of this video and for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just use one of their pre-made beautiful beautiful templates. Once I've selected that, I'm then going to hit this finish button down here. And then we're going to basically have a few preset options based off of what we told them. But because we want to have full access to all the different templates, we're going to uncheck those. So that way we can see everything. As you can see, we can now scroll through a ton of different pre-made templates that are, in my opinion, absolutely beautiful. Tons of different options to choose from, whether you like sleek, techie, minimalistic, or any other type of option, they have something for everyone. Because this is a technology website, I want to look sleek and look professional. So I'm going to go ahead with this minimalist looking Camdes template. I'm going to click this template. And now, as you can see, we can do a couple of minimal edits, things like change up the color palette really quick, or potentially change a few of the settings. And then we can hit the get start with this design. Once we hit the start with this design, it'll take a few seconds, and then we'll have to create a quick account. Once I've entered my email address, my personal details, and once I have everything filled out, I can then hit the continue button, and it will then create our account. It'll take a few seconds to set everything up properly. And once it does, we will then have full access to Squarespace's website editor. Now that we're inside of Squarespace's website editor, the best possible way to get the best possible deal is to actually use our code when you're checking out and getting added with a subscription plan. In order to do this, you want to head down to the settings option down here in the bottom left corner of Squarespace's website. Once you've hit the settings option, you'll then head over to the billing subcategory and then click the subscription option. Once you click the subscription option, you'll then be taken to this page where you can choose the website current trial subscription that you'll have when you use our link. Once you've clicked this, you'll then be taken to the website billing option where you can then get started with accessing your billing information and making changes. Once we hit the subscribe button, we'll then be taken to the plan page. This is a page where we can choose which plan we want to go with depending on the features that we're looking for. For the sake of this video, I'm going to choose the most popular option, which is the business plan. Once I've chosen the business plan, I'm then going to select whether I want to pay annually or monthly. To save the most amount of money, I'm going to choose the annual option. I'm then going to hit confirm selection. I'm then going to enter in my billing address and a couple of personal details. And once I've done that, I'm then going to hit save and continue. After I've hit save and continue, I'll then enter in my payment information. Once I've entered in all of my card details and important information, I'm then going to be taken to the page where I can enter in a coupon code. For this specific discount code, you're going to want to use the code MYFIRSTWEBSITE, all capitals, no spaces at checkout. This is going to get you access to 10% extra discount on top of the already good deal that you're getting with this specific option. Make sure to use that link at checkout so you get the best possible deal when checking out with Squarespace. And we can start editing our template and make changes. As you can see, it's going to ask for a site name. We'll just call this techie site, something like that. Hit the continue button. Again, we're going to create a course. So we'll just keep that clicked. And as you can see, it'll even take us into how to actually create that course in the first place. We're not going to do this for the sake of the video. So we'll hit the close button here. And as you can see, we can now start editing. Now to actually utilize this editor, it's super easy. Just go up to the top left here where it says edit and hit the edit button. Everything is now fully editable. Again, we can change the photos. We can change the font. We can change what the text 
Tech says, we can add all kinds of different benefits and different sections to this specific website. And it's super easy to do. It's all drag and drop. The technology is super easy to understand. If you utilized an iPhone before, you know how this works. Again, it's very easy to use. Now, once we're actually done editing all this, we can then simply go up here to this save option and hit the save option to save our changes. And that's pretty much how you utilize Squarespace's website editor. Now, that was pretty much how you utilize Squarespace's website editor. Let's talk about some of the features that you get when you start using Squarespace. One of the main draws of Squarespace is its website builder in the first place. It's very easy to use and intuitive, but there's a ton of other extra features that you get on top of that as well. One of the other big draws that Squarespace has, as you can see here, is their commerce section. As you can see, you can build fully functional e-commerce stores with Squarespace's technology, and it's very easy to do so. This rivals direct competitors who are solely focused on e-commerce, things like Shopify or even WooCommerce. As you can see, you can sell products, sell services, sell digital content, subscriptions, courses, custom merch, merchandising, shipping labels, subcategories, and a host of other products. Not only that, but you'll also get a full suite of marketing information so that way you can figure out exactly what's working on your website and what's not. Things like email campaigns, contact information, mailing lists, banners, promotions, discount codes, and a host of other things that are super critical in making those extra sales on your platform in the first place. And of course, you'll also get access to Squarespace full stack of analytics software, which basically allows you to see everything that's going on in your website in a glance. This is all integrated, of course, with your e-commerce capability as well. So you'll see everything from visitors, abandoned carts, people that are interested in products, people that are not interested in products, things that are commonly bought together, and a host of other features as well. In general, I think Squarespace is a super solid, sleek looking option if you're trying to get started with building a website and you want it to look professional. They have a ton of optionality that you can utilize on your website and the metrics that they give you are very useful as well. Now that's pretty much everything you would need to know about Squarespace, but let's talk about its direct competitor, WordPress, which is basically also Hostinger. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with WordPress, it's an extremely popular website builder that has become more and more utilized on a weekly, if not daily basis by thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands. Now, one of the big benefits about WordPress is that it's integrated in a lot of different other website builders that are very intuitive and easy to use. Now, because WordPress is a little bit older, it can make it very hard to use if you're brand new to building websites. With that being said, they have a super helpful partnership with a brand called Hostinger. Hostinger basically allows you to build websites and host a bunch of different websites and domain names all from one central place. When it comes to getting the best possible deal when starting your WordPress website, I'd really recommend using a service like Hostinger. We'll be covering everything you need to know about Hostinger as far as its details and all the features it has, but let's talk about how to get the best possible deal. The first thing you want to do is head down to the link down in the description below and click it and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you'll see that you'll get up to 75% off web hosting, a free domain, plus three free months on top of the $2.99 a month plan. In order to take advantage of this deal, simply click the claim deal button. Once you've hit the claim deal button, you then can pick which of these tiers is right for you. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the most popular option, which is the business option. All I have to do to add this is hit the add to cart button, which will then take me to the checkout page where I can get started entering in my information. As you can see on the checkout page, all we simply have to do is click the pay period that we want to choose, which is basically just how often we're going to be paying them. To save the most amount of money here, I'm going to go with the 48th month option, which is saving me about $480. Once I've done that, I'm going to create a quick account with an email address and a password, and then I'm going to enter in my payment details down here. Now, in order to get even more of a discount and get the best possible deal, click the have a coupon code question mark. Once I've clicked that, I'll then enter in the coupon code, which is my first website, all capitals, no spaces, and then simply hit the apply button. As you can see, the coupon is now fully applied and we're saving even more money than we were before. I'll then simply enter in my card details and hit the submit secure payment option and now we can get started. Now, once you've gotten everything fully set up, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. This is the home page of Hostinger where you can basically see your web hosting options, the domains you have, as well as a host of other important information. To actually get started with building a website with WordPress, we're gonna head up to the websites tab right here. We're gonna click that and then we'll be taken to the website page where we can actually start building our WordPress website. I'm gonna go up here to the add website option and then I can pick the WordPress option right here, which is the easiest to do. Now that I've selected that option, I then just simply have to pick a hosting plan, which I can pick any of the hosting plans that we have. You guys will need to pick your own hosting plan and then you'll hit select plan. Once you've done that, you're then going to create a quick little login detail for your WordPress account. If you already have a WordPress account, you'll be logged in regardless. And now everything should be good to go. As you can see, hosting and WordPress are linked together here. This is the admin panel of the website that we want to edit and we can make all kinds of different changes here. We can edit the post description, we can upload an image, edit site titles, and of course go deeper and edit even more. As you can see, when we go down to the pages here, we can go to all pages 
pages of the website and start editing things like the privacy policy. We can add a brand new page by simply clicking this. And as you can see, this is all pretty intuitive to do. We can also choose an already existing pattern or template that we want to choose from. Let's just say I want to choose this one and boom, it instantly uploads into this with no problem whatsoever. We can add a quick title here. We can double click down here and edit all of this. And again, one of the nice benefits about this is that we don't have to click an edit button here. We can simply just double click on things and edit them on the fly. We can edit things like the photo here with the right side here. Again, we can change the aspect ratio. We can also change the overall scale of everything. And of course, also import our own images as well from our own computer. And that's pretty much it. Again, WordPress is a little bit older and they are integrated with Hostinger now. So it does make it a lot easier to access, but it's still a pretty intuitive website to begin with. Now, when it actually comes to comparing these two and figuring out which one is right for your own business, again, that depends. Hostinger is incredibly intuitive and user friendly, and it's probably one of the best deals that we have when it comes to using the links down in the description below. Plus the overall price makes it very attractive to people who are just getting started or just want to dip their toes into building their first website. Now, when it comes to Squarespace, again, their pricing is a little bit more expensive, but you're getting a lot more of professional tools at your disposal that you can start using. Things like e-commerce tools and really handy metrics to figure out who's on your website are just a few examples of the tools that you get with Squarespace. Plus Squarespace's drag and drop features are very intuitive and easy to use as well. In general, I think it's important to pick which one of these based off of where you're at in your overall experience. Again, if you're less experienced and just getting started out, it seems like Hostinger might be the way to go. If you're more experienced and you're looking for a more professional built website, Squarespace might be the better option. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to click those links down in the description below to get access to the best deals possible when getting started with Squarespace or Hostinger. Please remember that those are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission for every click that we get. So thank you in advance for your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other than that, that's all I have though. And I'll see you guys next time.